It's senior night and game two of this battle of I-74 between the Illinois State Redbirds and the host, Illinois Fighting Illini. The final game of the 2024 campaign for the latter, with one rival looking to knock off another and put a little dent in their playoff aspirations. Good evening, everyone, from the Ice Arena in Champaign and streaming live on the Illini Hockey Network. On the call, I'm George Corey. And let's proceed with, well, what preceded these events last night. A dramatic comeback victory by the Redbirds with two goals in the final six minutes to tie and then finish in the shootout, all while resting some of their top players and all with third string goalie Larkin Dolan seeing his first action of the season. The Birds controlled the faceoffs and took advantage of when the Illini gave them power plays and dropped in two goals on contested rebound chances even with the Illini heavily crowding the slot and the crease. These Redbirds were able to avenge a surprise loss last week in their conference tournament, and now a playoff-minded quest awaits in looking to avoid the complacency that comes A, with a win, and B, with already having solidified a playoff berth. The question that was asked to start last night is again relevant tonight. Does Chris Pruitt rest more players tonight? How do you balance your comfort with the all-gas mindset that you want to implant on your team. And in a way, Illinois winning certainly wouldn't hurt in that identity pursuit for the Redbirds. Two birds with one stone, perhaps, as the Illini look to finish a season hallmarked by a long journey to consistency. Last night was a test of being able to produce on these same fronts against a better team, yet in what you could control, you still struggled with a little bit, namely the puck handling in pass reception. The speed and the physicality were there, now it's time to check that third box and litmus test, and in doing so, provide a beautiful send-off for the three seniors set to be honored any minute. One box checked, now let's check another. To public address announcer Nick Miner for starting lineups and the national anthem, brought to you by Skender, the general contractors behind the premier construction experience. Visit skender.com to learn more. We send it down now for the lineups, the anthem, and a special presentation to honor three members, three men, of the Illini hockey family. Father Robert Cox and his brother Keelan Niles Cox. 
Drake Mills Cox has played two seasons with the Illini, appeared in 19 games total. Drake has majored in interdisciplinary health sciences and plans to apply to medical school in June after graduation. Let's hear it for Drake Mills Cox. Now, we're going to move on to the singing of our national anthem. 
Celebration, ceremony, and crowd involvement, all the hallmarks of a rivalry game. Our thanks once again to Skender, the general contractors behind the premier construction experience. Visit Skender.com to learn more. It's Michael Lenhart, the regular backup in for Illinois State in gold. Brendan Donovan continuing to rest in preparation for the playoff matchups in two weeks from now. Also resting, Parker Turch for the Redbirds. Liam Gritzik will take his place on defense. For Illinois, again, the three seniors all starting. Drake Niles Cox, who has seen time off and on the third and fourth lines over the last two years. Ben Mazurik and Alec Bogdanov, the two anchors, two of the anchors of this team in their usual spots tonight. New defensive pairing as well, Joe Dorian and Luke Alpe. Paired together for the first time in a long time, but by no means newbies to this Illini hockey program. The final matchup of this 2024 campaign underway with a contested faceoff still going after it and chipped in by the Redbirds. Joe Dorian chasing after that. He gets hit along the boards. Illinois State able to keep it in. Quick shot there and an early save from Ben Missouri. Ben Missouri again. At times he's managed to carry this Illinois team in the now 12 games that he has started with Nolan Woodring sideline. And we've seen expansions of his game. We've seen him hold down the fort as well. And he's probably played his best hockey in his final semester donning the Illini uniform. Huge hit right there in on Pavel Bakhtin by Joe Dorian. David Ettingen clears for Illinois. And the first entry into the Redbird zone is an icing. No surprise to see the Illini with the physical attack right out of the gate. It worked well last night and coming into the first few games of this season back in 2023, that was probably the most notable change is the physicality, a return to a long awaited normal for the Illini being that physical identity. The defense set the tone and the offense followed and. The the young meshed with the old, the rookies with the veterans. That shot deflected and the full body blocking, as you saw right there, has also played a huge role throughout this season. Chip and chase by Bailey McCarthy, posed by Michael Natoli. The man right there running after it, Mason Perry right there for the Redbirds. Sasha Matveev tries to pick that off at the point. Now Joe Dorian in neutral ice. Right in the middle of that as well is Ethan Chesney. And the Redbirds will patiently control in their own D zone. Perry and Natoli, the top line defense. On for the Redbirds as that one's poked away by Bailey McCarthy. He'll get the puck back with some help from Joe Doran and will feed it in to the Redbirds zone. Fanning on that is Natoli. Matt V picks it off. Tried to find a man. That goes through two men. Falling down right there is Zuzhebetkov and Missouri has to get active with the stick to deny a one on zero chance. Redbirds will look to clear again. And now Aslan Zuzhebetkov will run after that and watch the linesman blow the whistle. So a few misplays, a few errors in puck handling by the Redbirds that have given Illinois some chances. And on the other side, one play there from Zuzhebetkov unable to find his footing. Ben Missouri able to deny what could have been a breakaway. The only large impacts thus far as a man goes down off that faceoff. Sasha Matthew tangling up, still going at it with Ethan Chesney. Illinois off in the trapezoid. Another huge hit there from the Redbirds. Now they're the ones applying the physicality here. And this game got a little chippy last night, back and forth. Physical play from both teams around the boards and for one series last night in the open ice in particular. Redbirds looking to clear, moving with a burst of speed is Chesney. Top scorer on this team with 24 goals, navigating through traffic and saved by Missouri in the breadbasket. It took a little bit of time for the freshman Ethan Chesney to get involved last night, but with it all said and done, two assists on the night. One of them for the goal that started the Redbirds comeback in the third period. And also getting active by getting the first shootout score for Illinois State. Five to four shootout, the Redbirds were able to come back and pull away last night. Another icing on the other side. And something to watch tonight, certainly in the short term, stylistically, is Illinois scored. They made it a two-goal lead. 
right then and there, within the next one or two minutes, a penalty committed, and Illinois State was able to bring it right back into the one. The Redbirds were resilient last night and took advantage of the mistakes that Illinois provided them. As physical as this Illini team is, one of the consequences that comes with that are penalties, and so you have to make sure you can still hold on to your identity while not giving the opposing team life. Redbirds are a good team. They took advantage of that last night. Again, they are playoff bound, and Illinois is hoping to cut into those aspirations with a win today. Nick Anderson, harassed from behind, gains the zone, fires one, deflected in front, and that becomes a souvenir. Two and a half minutes into this final contest on the season for the Illini. Again, not the final one for the Redbirds. They will head to the playoffs in St. Louis in just under two weeks' time. Brendan Donovan is the only notable player being rested tonight for Illinois State. Michael Lenhart, the usual number two in goal. Dash able to keep it in right there. Save made by Lenhart. Fanning on that clear attempt. That will delay the overall clear for the Redbirds as that one sent back to the near side. Michael Garcia in the middle of it. Joe Dorian opposing him, trying to pick it off. The captain, Bogdanoff, and the senior in his last game for Illinois tonight. Fed into the Illini zone, trying to take that away right there is Alex Kowalczyk, seeing his first ice time of this series. David Ettingen tries to clear, redirect on that fan, and it'll require a dive from him to clear the puck. David McCarthy trying to make something out of nothing on the other side, gain some separation before he feeds it into a white sweater, pays the price in the process, but taken away by an Illini before another centering pass to nobody. Atticus Helfer now tries to keep it in. Illinois State controls. That's Tim Sloan. Three-man weave in neutralized before it's dumped off. Now Illinois will look to reclaim possession. Zuzabetkov plays the ricochet game and gets it out. Alex Matsis trying to navigate around Anthony Verasi. Verasi will force him to the half wall and deliver a huge hit in the process. Young or old, freshman or senior, it doesn't matter. The Illini are getting physical. And a long-awaited return to that physical game. That has been one of the hallmarks of this team this entire season. Another open ice hit after the whistle right there. Alexander Matveev in on Alex Matsis. And we might have more than just a whistle right here. Yes, indeed. Illinois State. Skates out four and into the box, the defenseman, Drew Shaddle. First power play for Illinois tonight. And it's Bogdanoff in the dot. Set to take the faceoff again. The Redbirds won a lot of the faceoffs last night, probably about 90%, if you can believe it. So you have to imagine that was a focus coming into tonight for John O'Pilka and company. Matt Lee fans on the pass, able to recover it, still fighting for it. Two on one there. Bogdanoff goes to help him and controls on the far side. Bogdanoff looking to feed it back to the point. Matt Viva at the half wall. Now Atticus Helfer at the point. Helfer going in, looking for a deflection. Still alive in front. That one wasn't able to get close there as Illinois State is crowding the crease. Both teams crowded the crease heavily last night on both sides of the ice, and it led to success for both teams. Nick Anderson now fires from the point. Save made. Right there for a rebound. Fanning on it. Second attempt does not go. Anderson tries to get to it. Thought about a backhand there, but was denied in front by Mike Natoli. 45 seconds have bled out of this power play. Helfer, quick shot there. Tried to get the screen from Dorian, but still stopped by Michael Lenhart. And a few more drawing back and forth between Mason Perry and Joe Dorian. Those two exchanging some friendly words. I don't have to tell you that tonight is a rivalry game. You can see it already four and a half minutes into this game. Near side face off. And again, Bogdanoff will take it for Illinois. Won by the Redbirds, pulled out to the corner, but it's a puck battle now. Nick Anderson with a huge hit in the near side corner, and that gives Illinois the puck. Trying to take it out is Anderson over to Bogdanoff. Illinois heavily shading that near side with three men near those boards. Now Atticus Helfer trying to get it out of harm's way. Illinois sets back up. Anderson with a shot too high. And Matt Veeve will corral that. 
at the point. Evades one man, gets closer, fires, still alive in front. That was deflected, deflected on the onset, check that. Illinois getting plenty of chances early as now the Redbirds able to clear. 30 seconds left on the power play. Atticus Helfer, delayed line change here for the Redbirds. That gives him some room to work. Still alive in front off that shot and saved by Lenhart. Illinois State was slow to make that change. Atticus Helfer had a lane. That's been a little bit of a weakness for the Redbirds on the season is just overall cleanliness of making changes. A lot of too many men penalties. We saw one last night and in that case they were a little bit slow. Now Bailey McCarthy will take the face off and win it. Illinois doing much better on the face off than they did last night. That's been a strength all season as the sidewinder from McCarthy does not go. 10 seconds left on the minor penalty. Last gasp here as a shot shoved in from the corner. Save made, although the Illini still control. David Ettingen thought about it, thought about a wraparound. Feed one to center, but taken away by the Redbirds. Out of the box now, five on five, comes Drew Shaddle. Trying to make something happen on the near side is Jackson Graham. He gets flustered, although that one is still fed in on goal and cleared. Chase down for it the other way here. Illinois State has to prevent a breakaway. Rossi vying for that one alongside Jackson Graham. Pulled out to David Ettingen for a shot. Save made. Poking it away. He scores! Rossi from five feet out. Illinois on the board. senior night. The top freshman on this team, Anthony Barassi, causing mayhem in front off of a rebound. It was poked away by Michael Lenhart. Barassi backs up a little bit and goes top shelf. Great recognition right there from the Illinois freshman. Again, the top freshman on this squad. He has earned that stripe and that designation throughout this season as the Redbirds look to keep it in. Back and forth they go between the point and the half wall. Illinois State does keep it in. Trying for a centering feed that gets past everybody, although the Redbirds still able to control. Mike Smolinski fed back in front. Quick save there from Azuric off the stick of Tricorico. Trying to clear it. Drake Niles box he does before he gets lambasted on the boards. Play stopped. That goal number 10 on the season for Anthony Varasi, putting him in a tie for first with Alexander Matviv on the total metric on this season for Illinois. What an impact Varasi has been. Just his overall intuition, just his overall nose for the puck and creation of plays, whether it's on the forecheck this season, whether it's getting involved on rebounds, getting in the right place in transition. He has shown all of that this season for the Illini. Breakaway here, Niles Cox with a shot and a save made by Lenhart. The third and fourth line Right winger Niles Cox getting the start on senior night nearly with some magic right there. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. That's exactly where he was able to split the defense. But Lenhart keeps it a one goal game. Seven minutes having gone by here in this first period. Again, the goal off the rebound. Where have we heard that before from Illinois? And it came from Anthony Verasi. Face off still being fought for. Illinois wins it and controls. Atticus Helfer looks to get it out of harm's way. Now on the near side, pulled out. Ferrasi goes around one man, still holds on to it, and a shot save made from Lenhart. Ferrasi looking like Alexander Matviv right there to that point and navigating it through traffic. Matviv tries to keep it in, instead sends a man into the boards, but the Redbirds control in their own zone. Fed in front, unable to handle it right there was Tim Sloan, and that goes too long and out of play. Anytime you have one team spending a lot of time on their own end of the ice, you always see the other team try to get back in it and control the ice time through transition hockey and odd man rushes. That's been a theme particularly for Illinois on the season as they're now in the other side, in the other shoes, out shooting the Redbirds by a factor of three to one. Instead of 12 shots to four, it's now 13 shots to four as Matthew McDonald's shot was saved. Now make that 13 to five as Missouri will stop that. This Illinois State team with an act for quote unquote quick shot production, really able to 
on the season. They've shown it. Turn any situation into a shot very quickly. Not only do they just throw everything at the wall and see what sticks, it's a form of that, but they're able to turn it into a good situation for a shot. And the time in which they do that is very quick. So for teams trying to get back into games with transition hockey, I mean, the Redbirds are only down one, but so far Illinois has controlled a lot of the time of possession. That would be a way to get involved. And that certainly caters to one of their strengths. Icing waved off, that forces the Redbirds to control in their own doghouse. And a saucer pass will force a clear. Near side, picked off by Nick Anderson. Bogdanov trying to get in the way of that. Orange sweaters converge, and now it's taken on the near side by Luke Alpe. Gains it, fires, gloved out of thin air by Lenhart. Taylor in the dot for Illinois. Again, the Illini are winning the faceoffs tonight. Very much contrary to last night where the Redbirds had a stranglehold in that category. Huge hit on the far side right there on Joe Dorian. Illinois State trying to control harassment right there on the forecheck from Andrew McLean. And now further forecheck attempts there by Joe Dorian on the near side. Illinois able to control. That's Nathan Dash, the freshman defenseman, who pokes it in. And now the Redbirds will hold on to it in their own D zone, looking to clear. Near side, trying to cut him off right there, is Drake Niles Cox, forces him to give up the puck, Joe Dorian beats a man to it. Now another chase down for it, in the far side corner, poked away there by Carson Hill, and the Redbirds will have to reset again, not before the whistle is blown. Ever since that goal for Illinois from Anthony Varasi just a few minutes ago, the Redbirds starting to increase their speed. It's now the top line back on the ice. Jackson Graham still taking the place of Tony Campisi at right. Campisi is listed on the roster as playing tonight, as in uniform, although he has not seen ice time thus far. Quick shot there from the point, save made by Missouri. Karam's close and now back to the corner. Zuzhebetkov looks to clear for Illinois and does. That one fluttered around there in the Illinois State zone. Backhand clear there before he ends up in the boards is Liam Gritzik. He's still a little slow. Now Anthony Verasi gains, although he's met by a white sweater. Illinois will have to clear it and reset. 50-50 puck battle there. Zuzhebetkov gains it. Forced again to the outside by Gritzik. Stingy defense here from the new Lennox, Illinois native. Illinois State controls in their own D zone and clears. That's Justin Gonzalez, gains it, although poked off the puck. Vying for it, the and Zuzhebetkov are right there. Illinois State now looking to keep it in, and once again, they control the point. That was the theme last night, the Redbirds' success at the point. So far, it has remained such tonight when they've been in their own offensive zone. Shot deflected too high there, now another puck battle for it. Positioning, won the battle there for Illinois. Now Matt Veeb with his own positioning, trying to go around a few men there. Huge hit in nice there by Drake Niles Cox. Diving to keep it alive there is Illinois, and they do. All out effort there from Alexander Matveev to keep that possession alive. Penalty coming here. The call is a trip. Matveev's still a little slow holding on to his right hand into the box for the second time through Shadow. Drew Shaddle thus far, 10 minutes into this game with a night he's gonna wanna forget. And Illinois back on the power play again. Second time Shaddle has gone behind the glass. And now Bailey McCarthy will take the face off. It is won by the Redbirds. Justin Gonzalez in the trapezoid with a quick clear. And Nathan Dash has it for Illinois. Again, if you're just joining us on senior night, it was the freshman, the top freshman for the Illinois team, Anthony Verossi with a goal. Just a few minutes ago, and the Illini are back on the power play for the next minute and 35 seconds. Near side, Zuzhebetkov trying to go in front to McCarthy. Save made by Lenhart off his left leg. 
Beautiful setup there in the 1 3 1 for Illinois, although clearing it right now, trying to go around a few men. He does before he feeds it back to safety. Nice play there by Mike Slowinski. Now Aslan Zuzhebekov controls for Illinois. Zuzhebekov and Helfer on defense together for the Illini on this power play. That's a tandem we have seen develop great chemistry together since Zuzhebekov got the starting nod. Helfer waiting patiently. Good neutral zone denial here for the Redbirds. It will force Joe Dorian to reset again. Helfer still having to take his time. Good neutral zone denial here for the Redbirds with 45 seconds left on the power play, although the Illini have dumped it into the O zone. Trying to move in front, Bogdanov. Save made and turned aside by Lenhart. Matt Vive goes around one man in the corner, trying to get close now. Fires and wide. Illinois has to corral it again, but not before it goes past both blue lines. 30 seconds left, half a minute on the minor penalty to Shaddle. Near side gain by the Illini. Nick Anderson tries to go around a man. Backhand feed right to a white sweater. Tried to get too fancy right there. Now with a backhand feed of his own and clears. One on one opportunity here on the far side. Going around Helfer, not before shooting, and it was deflected off the stick of Atticus Helfer right there. Jacob Bland, the man responsible. Five seconds left on the minor, and as the Redbirds control, that will most likely end that. Penalty killed here for Illinois State with just under eight minutes left in the first. Fresh off the bench, quick shot here from Graham. Goes high. Shadow went into the box. Part check that, Shadow went to the bench. Graham came off the bench, and he had a wide open opportunity. Justin Gonzalez now will send it around. Back to the aforementioned Graham. Before that pass goes through everybody, icing waved off nonetheless. Illinois has to get it out, quick feed from Alpi. To the center line, now Andrew McLean chasing that down, opposing him, Graham. Graham flicks it close, right in front, save made. No one there to gather the rebound as it carries back out to the point. Dangerous attempt there. A clear attempt, and it went right to an orange sweater on the far side. Now going down on his rear there, Alex Leskai is a tough hit applied by the Redbirds. Andrew McLean with a backhand chance, and that goes on goal. Lenhart stops it. Now cleared, three on two here. Illinois State with some numbers, although it becomes a one on three as that became a line change. Jackson Graham still able to control it before it's poked away and he falls down in the process. Illinois State with a pesky four check here as they tried to send it in. Wraparound chance from Chesney off the rebound. Does not go and back and forth Chesney and Andrew McLean in the middle of that as well. Was Casey Colantonio. Chesney Colantonio, Will Tricorico, and Andrew McLean there for Illinois. The four check of the Redbirds nearly had a chance at a goal, and their closest was right in front to the left of Missouri. Chesney had it on his stick, just couldn't elevate it in time. Very close to a goal, Illinois State was there. So now with all that sorted out, five on five it remains with six and a half left in period number one. Aiden Taylor again wins the faceoff for Illinois. Ricochet battle, the Redbirds keep it alive at the point. Again, the Redbirds have controlled the point throughout these three and a half periods of this series. David Ettingen able to pick it off right there, however, and keep the possession alive for Illinois. Zuzhebekov with a backhand. Almost a chip and chase in your own zone, if you will, as Mike Slowinski tries to send it to safety but Atticus Helfer has it on the other side now in the near side corner. Tried to pull it out towards the slot, picked off now by the Redbirds. Slowinski to Cole Antonio on the near side. Those two collide at the half wall. Now Atticus Helfer tries to navigate it around traffic. Illinois able to control. That was a one on two there. Dangerous for Helfer, but he got it through. Now Bogdanov tries to gain it. Trying to go around a few more men, goes around two men and holds on to the possession. Bogdanov with a backhand feed, Illinois crowd Crowded it right there, but Illinois State controlled. Now it's Illinois controlling the point in the next 20, 30 seconds. These last 20 to 30 seconds, the Illini have controlled the point, kept a few possessions alive, or started a few in the case of Zuzhebetkov just a minute and change ago. That one dumped in. Now McCarthy running after that. Body bump shadow, still trying to fight for it. Two on two puck battle, feeding that one back towards the net is McCarthy. Illinois State controls. Five minutes left here in the first period. Illinois State dumping it out. 
and they will get it back in their own O-zone. Near side, Alex Kowalczyk, opposed by Joe Dorian in the corner. Play stopped there as Dorian hit him into the boards, and a bump afterwards, an extension of the hand by Michael Garcia. Joe Dorian has been in the middle of a few of those altercations so far this evening. And again, we talked about it at the beginning of the season. It was the defense setting the tone with a return to the physical play that we have known this Illini program to represent. And Joe Dorian was one of the leaders in that effort. Atticus Helfer as well, despite the fact that he had moved from defenseman to left wing. Alec Bogdanoff there as well. Nick Anderson when he came back from injury. A lot of the veteran defensemen set the tone, while Nathan Dash and Harrison Slovic, two freshmen, were able to provide as well. You throw Luke Alpe on that list of vets as well for Illinois. The defense set the tone, and bookending this season with physical play back and forth. Unable to keep that alive right there is Garcia. Joe Dorian right there. Matt Vive able to keep it in at the near side half wall. Matthew McDonald tumbles away. Trying to pull it out there, although he's restrained from behind. Stick collision right there, and those two still going at it. That's Matt Vive and Kowalczyk. Illinois State able to clear in the trapezoid, although unable to handle that. Garcia back the other way for Illinois. Quick feed to the near side. Called for it was Matt Vive. Fires now. Save made. And back to the corner on the near side. Matt Vive is calling for it. You could hear it. Great intuition there from Sasha as that one goes in and stopped by Lenhart. Some more friendly collisions there as it looks like in the middle of that is Andrew McLean. Now four minutes left in the first period. Again, the lone goal coming from Anthony Verasi about, let's call it, 10 minutes ago. Off again, won by Illinois. It's been Aiden Taylor, Bailey McCarthy, and Alec Bogdanoff tonight. And the Illini have been able to re-win that battle. It was taken away from them and won en masse by the Redbirds last night. Illinois State trying to clear. The Illini crowding the puck. Aiden Taylor backhand to Helfer. Now short passes in the neutral zone that give the Illini the possession. Connor Lawson dumps it in. That will force a line change. An abbreviated one, that is. The Redbirds able to still control. And now they look to clear. Feet up in front, too hot to handle for Alex Matsis. Tries to body Atticus Helfer off the puck. Two on two puck battle in the trapezoid behind Ben Mazurik. Now a chase down the other way and Bogdanoff will converge on it for Illinois. He gets hammered on the boards and hammers a man himself. That's Jacob Bland in that same spot. David Ettingen able to clear it. Two on two here for Illinois with Connor Lawson to his right before Lawson is called offside. Now three minutes left in the first period. And the linesman issuing some orders here. Illinois nearly played that possession with only four skaters. David Ettingen takes the place of Matthew McDonald as Sasha Matveev wins that face off. Off that deflection, it goes into the near side corner. Illinois State converges. They look to clear. That one goes through everybody. Illinois controls it and sends it back in. Now on the near side. Garcia looks to move with a burst of speed. Tries to get it to safety, although he's met by two orange sweaters. Sasha Matveev pulls it out, gains the zone, forced to the outside, tries to feed it for Matthew McDonald's. He gets hit, but taken away by Leon Gritzik. Two and a half left here in the first period. Short passes, although too hot to handle once again for Jackson Graham. Illinois will try and reset, respectively. Joe Dorian gets hit as he tries to clear that. Shadow feeds it past a man. And now a chance for Matthew McDonald to apply a forecheck here, but he backs off. Evading a few men, there is Shaddle. Illinois State, a lot of dump offs in this first period, similar to how Illinois was in the second period. And credit to the opposing team's neutral zone in both situations, neutral zone defense. But now able to gain the zone here is Chesney before he fans on that shot. 
now trying to get it back from Nick Anderson, but Illinois will provide some help in the form of Aiden Taylor. Andrew McLean back to Taylor as he gains the zone, fanning on that shot. Still plenty of orange sweaters in the way there, as going out of the net briefly was Lenhart. Illinois State still trying to control as a hit right there on the boards with a minute 37 left. Play stopped, and the right arm is up. The right arm is up. but it does not produce a personnel change. A minute 37 left in the first period. Bogdanoff on the faceoff for Illinois, but won by Will Trickerico. Helfer tries to avoid that now. Mike Slowinski with an angle. Zuzhebetkov tries to back him off of it. Slowinski had a plenty of open ice to work with, although Zuzhebetkov did a good job closing his angle off, turning that into a close one-on-one -on -one altercation and slowing down the possession. 50-50 puck battle goes back and forth between the half wall and the near side corner. Now it goes to the point. Playing the ricochet game, centered in front there, although unable to get stick the puck there was Michael Garcia. Trickerico with a few nice plays off that shot from Slowinski, responsible for that centering attempt. Play stopped with a minute four left. Illinois again has conquered the face-offs once again for the most part in this first period and has had stingy neutral zone defense. They played very physically as well. And no surprise to see that the one goal on the board thus far came off of a rebound and causing that signature chaos in front of the net. A hit right there, Atticus Helfer trying to nab that around traffic. Now Zhebetkov's line mate controls. Inside of a minute remaining here in period number one. That one goes past Matthew McDonald. Illinois State on the near side now. Matthew Garcia tries to take it out. Trevor Glass fed it around. Picked off in front there by Matt V before he's body checked. Great play right there to deny a very evasive player. Justin Gonzalez on the hit right there. 23 seconds left. That one goes through everybody off the netting and that will kill more time. Check that off the top of the glass, almost hit the netting. Still, it will kill more time, probably the most impactful part of where that puck landed. That one rolls all the way around. Lenhart will help out his teammates before it's taken now by Tim Sloan. Five seconds left now as he's unable to handle it, and that roll all the way into the Illinois zone will round out period number one. A lone goal coming on senior night from the top freshman on this squad, Anthony Verasi, his 10th of the season off of a rebound. A few power plays for Illinois. Very physical play as well and some stingy neutral zone D that were able to deny the Redfords thus far. 21 shots for Illinois in favor to 11 for the Redbirds and we've only played 20 minutes. Back for period number two shortly. Illinois holding a one nothing lead. And now for a special presentation to honor the seniors of the Illini Ice Girls.
ladies and gentlemen, we would like to take a moment to celebrate our senior high schoolers tonight. First up is Julia and Omenko. Let's give another round of applause to Lucia
Time for period number two on this senior night. The lone goal in the first period from Anthony Verasi, the top freshman on the Illinois squad off of a rebound right in front of Michael Lenhard. And it was a first period that was controlled by Illinois in a few facets. The time of possession to give credit to the neutral zone battle and the neutral zone defense for Illinois in a similar way that the Redbirds were able to shut them down in that regard in the second period last night. Now Illinois did a little bit of that tonight. Illinois also controlled the face-offs. This is a team that has won that battle a lot on the season. They've improved on it massively and done very well. And two, they've had a lot of versatility in who takes those face-offs. A great improvement from last night from where the Redbirds controlled roughly 80 to 90% of interactions at the dot. Second period about to get underway as some more back and forth right in front between David Ettingen and Jacob Bland. If that not an emblem of a rivalry game and the first period too that was chippy and physical, I don't know what is. Now the second period is off and running in the faceoff won by Illinois. David Ettingen with some quick passing gets it back before he's harassed in front by Jacob Bland. Feeds that in on net. Still alive in front as Bogdanov tried to go in but the net dislodged right in front as Bogdanov and Bailey McCarthy converged on the puck. The Illinois fans a little upset. They might want a little activity there on Michael Lenhart. There's maybe some movements that help cause that, but it will stand five on five and the faceoff won by the Redbirds. Quick pull cleared. Trying to pick that off is Alpi, and right there to bail him out is Nick Anderson. Bailey McCarthy, that one too hot for him. That gives the puck to Ethan Chesney. Chesney moving around, shot goes wide. Now a chase down back for it, trying to keep it in on the near side is Mason Perry. He is able to do so, although unable to keep it in in the middle of the ice, and falling down there is Shaddle. Shaddle and Perry, new defensive pairing on the ice for the Redbirds. Shaddle with the first period, he's going to want to forget. Two penalties already. Luke Alpi trying to clear on the far side. Deflected off of one of his own men. That's Bailey McCarthy. McCarthy and Alpi vying for it. The Redbirds trying to keep it in. That one pulled out towards the high slot. Cleared for David Ettingen. He's trying to do more than that. Sends it in on goal. Denied by Michael Lenhart. Line change for Illinois. Natoli, quick feed over there. Although unable to handle it. Slowinski, he'll have to reset at the point. Looking for the touch pass. Two bodies converge on it. Nobody there. Feeds it back to center for Slowinski. Had it poked away from behind by Matthew McDonald. Good defense as well by Anthony Verossi to deny what would have been a high slot chance there from Mike Slowinski. Sends it back to the near side for Shaddle. Shaddle patiently dribbling in the trapezoid. That one pulled out to the near side. Still alive in front and taken by Illinois. Great crowding right there to deny that. And then a great poke in front there by Verossi. Now the Redbirds look to clear. Moving around a man there is Mike Natoli. Gain the zone, right back to Natoli off a of give and go. Tried to find a man in front, and a save made. Well, more than that, a penalty coming as well for a trip on Illinois State. Beautiful give and go right there from Michael Natoli. Gets it at the point in his own D zone, and then a little give and go right there, and a nice one with Mike Slowinski. There was a call and a signal for trip. However, five Redbirds are still on the ice and it goes back to neutralize. Very interesting situation there. The linesman bent down and signaled with the right arm, but still fall on five, so hold everything. Very interesting situation. That might've been, was called and then it was waved off. The linesman went down, signaled low with the right arm but no penalty called after all of that very interesting circumstance there it's still five on five and the boxes remain empty sans the backup goalies for whom that is their usual location so two minutes having gone by here a officially penaltyless second period and a face off to the left of michael lenhart Aiden Taylor and Will Trickerico. 6-4 against 5-8, and 5-8 wins it. 
shot goes wide there from Nathan Dash. Dorian trying to run that down, opposing him, Casey Colantonio. It's one one there, although Illinois able to keep it in, and the centering pass goes wide from Taylor. Mike Slowinski now on the near side at the half wall, looking to feed it back to a man out of trouble. That one trickled in on goal off the stick of Tricorico and denied. Redbirds trying to keep it in, although Illinois pokes it out, and that will roll all the way for an icing. Illinois State looking to get more activity right in front of the net. Return to a system that worked well for them last night in terms of the rebound goals, two of them. And that starts too with controlling the neutral zone, controlling the time of possession, and again, winning the faceoffs. All things we talked about in terms of what would impact the second period. That one went towards the crease, although nobody able to get a stick on it. Illinois looking to clear. The Redbirds, however, keep it in for the time being. That becomes a puck battle, and it's sent all the way around. Dash fighting for it alongside Pavel Bakhtin. Two on one there, puck battle. It goes the Redbirds' way before Bogdanoff feeds a man into the boards. Joe Dorian passes it back. Bogdan gets hammered low into the boards right there by Andrew McLean, and Illinois controls near side. Dorian with Niles Cox right there, clears it before Illinois State dumps it back in. Illinois clears it, the Redbirds dump it back in. Illinois State controlling the time to possession right now before a huge hit applied there on Nathan Dash. Trying to keep it in right there and doing so successfully, Pavel Bakhtin before it's fed in to no man's land. Taken away now by the Redbirds and the trapezoid. Feed in front, save made off the pad of Missouri. And back the other way comes Illinois. David Ettingen, got to be careful, has a man on him from behind. And Alex Matsis, that man wins that battle. Ettingen shoves him into the boards. Now we're going back the other way. Track meet now. As Pavel Bakhtin has it and feeds it to Carson Hilt. Hilt trying to send that around. Save made by Missouri. Now a two-on-one the other way. Now it's a three-on-one. Track meet here for Illinois. Ettingen in front. Rebound chance. Bogdan off, unable to get stick the puck in the trapezoid. And play stopped. Three-on-one right there. Ettingen tried to feed it to Alpi. No dice. Bogdan off right there. And he held it, but wasn't in a position, didn't have the proper angle on his stick with him moving right towards the blue paint to feed it in. That's a three on one that'll keep most teams awake at night for not being able to convert on that. And you wonder if it's gonna lead to more increased chances and increased aggression here from Illinois with this same line on the ice. Still being fought for now. Matt Vive, fresh off the clear, tries to send it right back in and does. Tried to split the defense, could not. Penalty coming for that trip against Alexander Matt Vive. So Illinois will be on the power play here. Into the box for the trip against Alexander Matviv is Alex Kowalczyk. Third power play of the evening for Illinois, the first of this period. They have yet to convert on the man advantage thus far tonight. Top line in, along with a few second line holdovers. Dorian, Helfer, Anderson, Bogdanov, and Sasha Matviv. Bogdanov set to take the face off, still being fought for at the dot, gets some help from Dorian. Atticus Helfer tries to get it out of harm's way at the point. Now at the half wall, looking to get it back to Helfer. Playing catch with Sasha Matviv, coming to help out there is Alec Bogdanov. Redbirds swarming the puck, that becomes a puck battle and cleared. Mike Slowinski, he's not the man you want to have the puck if you're Illinois in a shorthanded situation, already with two shorthanded goals Slowinski has on this side of 2024. He gets it back now at the point and will kill some more time. Playing catch on the near side between zones before that one flipped all the way in and the Redbirds killing some time there. Slowinski and Perry with the play. Now avoiding one man on the far side, Nick Anderson. And now we'll give a snow shower in an attempt to reset. Into the corner, Bogdanoff. Illinois trying to get set in either an umbrella. Now Bogdanoff moves to the middle, 4-1-3-1. Atticus Helfer feeds it in, look for the deflection, still alive in the high slot. Two white sweaters converge on it, still trying to keep it alive, and now cleared by Mason Perry. Inside of one minute now is a line change for both teams. We saw that lineup of Bogdanoff, Helfer, and Matt Vieve be successful on the power play last night for Illinois. Not so thus far tonight. Matt Vieve pulls it out, however, before a miscommunication with Zuzhebetkov, and the Illini have to reset. 
Back to Helfer now, trying to evade one man, get an angle and shoot. Save made and swallowed up by Lenhart. 37 seconds on the clock. And five and a half haven't gone by here in the second period. Face-off battle in this game starting to become a bit more even as compared to what it was in the first period. Controlled mostly by the Illini in a super majority territory. A lot of these face-offs have also become very contested, which require the help of more players. Right there, a perfect example, as the help provided by Illinois gives them the possession. Playing catch, McCarthy and Dash. Now to Verasi on the near side. Verasi looking to go in, back to Dash. Dash five. Save made off the left pad of Lenhart. Chased down now into the corner. McCarthy right there. Trying to take it away from Pavel Botten, but the ladder wins that battle, and the ladder's team able to clear it inside of five seconds now, and that will roughly bring an end to the power play. Three for three on the penalty kill tonight for the Redbirds. Back to five on five. Nathan Dash with some moves to gain, although unable to handle that, Gonzalez and Illinois trying to salvage that possession. Gonzalez and McLean battling after it. Ethan Chesney right there. He gets hammered on the boards. Pass back out, and now back to Dash. He has to chase after that. Illinois starting to work the trapezoid here like they did last night, and coming up with some decent success, although unable to finish the job once the puck is brought back out towards the slot. Redbirds look to clear, they do. Near side, trying to go around a man, Trevor Glass, he cannot. Great defense right there, will give Drake Niles Cox the puck before he goes down in fighting for it with Glass. The latter wins that possession. Now Illinois State back the other way with numbers. Three on two, becomes a three on three. Fed in front, Graham a shot, goes wide. Back into the trapezoid, that goes through the legs of a white sweater. Now Illinois controls the other way. Quick feed from Niles Cox, over to Andrew McLean. One on two, that one goes off the legs of Drew Shaddle. Illinois State will reset now. Trying to take advantage of the Illini line change, but they cannot, thanks to defense from Alec Bogdanoff. That gives Illinois the possession after some delayed time, and now the Redbirds have it back. The ricochet game all the way around. Glass collides with Bogdanoff as he tries to get that to safety. Both teams moving very quickly here, making quick work in the neutral zone here as we've come to the seven and a half minute mark here in the second period. Seven and a half having gone by in a quick second period with plenty of opportunities both ways. A man falls down there trying to salvage that possession. Tim Sloan, shot goes wide. Now back the other way, Illinois trying to work. Again, quick work in the neutral zone as Bogdanoff gains it. In front, McCarthy, shot goes wide. He got stick to puck, he just missed it a little bit. Now back to the other side. Quick work in the neutral zone once again as the Redbirds gain it. Pass across now from Jacob Bland to the far side, although he's met by two white sweaters. Back to Bland on the near, 50-50 puck battle at the half wall. A hit right there applied on the man with the hat trick last night, Jacob Bland, but pulled out now by Chesney. Chesney going around a few men. His shot goes too high now. Chase down for it. Nick Anderson falls to one knee before colliding with Casey Colantonio. Another battle that sends a white sweater down and that will trigger a penalty. Power play number one for Illinois State tonight. And that might not be it. Nick Anderson tussling with Casey Colantonio. The linesmen have to hold Colantonio back. He is hot. And that hit on the boards will put Luke Alpe behind glass for two minutes. Again, the Redbirds were very successful on the power play last night. That's Nick Anderson getting a hand for his physical play and for some chirping, much to the delight of those in attendance. But Illinois not out of harm's way here as the Redbirds had quite the success. Two power play goals last night. And they look to get one here and tie up the game. Face off pulled out to Illinois in the trapezoid. They are able to clear, looking to do more than that now. Atticus Helfer on the two on two. Here comes Illinois shorthanded. Quick shot there. Goes wide from Verasi. Now Mike Slowinski controls and looks to reset. Illinois State looking to get into the proper positioning here. As Slowinski has it now with Shaddle to his right. Slowinski met by two white sweaters, although gains the zone. And now Shaddle moving to his left, fires in, full body block right there, and a good one from Verasi. Illinois State still with it, trying to feed it back. 
Beautiful takeaway right there, and the clear from Aslan Zizhebetkov. Fresh off a line change, Slowinski still trying to work quick. He has it taken away from him by Alexander Matviev. That forces a reset from Shaddle. Ever since winning the faceoff, Illinois has controlled this entire power play. Redbirds trying to change that. 60 seconds in to the minor from Luke Alpi. Still holding on to it right there. Now trying to go around a man, forcing him all the way to the outside there. Great defense by Illinois. Tony Campisi seeing his first activity in uniform tonight for the Redbirds. The captain is. He was resting last night along with Brendan Donovan, given that the Redbirds already have a playoff berth locked up. He is in tonight on this power play. Chesney fires, and that goes wide. Illinois has been able to quiet Ethan Chesney as well, the freshman, and the leading scorer for the Redbirds. It took him a while. It took him until late in the third period last night to get involved, but he finished with two assists and a shootout score as well. He has it now and fires, deflected, and into the netting. That will stop play. 9.56 left on the clock in the second period. 23 seconds left before Luke Alpi is a free man. Face off to the left of Missouri, won by the Redbirds. Back to the corner on the far side, playing catch before it's brought out. Now trading places, that's Gonzalez. Near side, short passes here for the Redbirds, trying to return to their neutral zone routes, but it's not helping right there as Nick Anderson, very feisty with the body and stick. Illinois State resets, is out of the box, now comes Alpi. Quick shot there from Gonzalez, denied off the leg of Varasi. Now a one on zero. Varasi looking to go in. Kick that stick the butt there as he was met by Will Tricorico. Tricorico was trailing the one on one and he finished that off. Varasi trying to keep it alive. Caroms back to Matt Vive at the near side half wall. Matt Vive trying to circle back now. He's harassed in front there by Pavel Bakhtin. McDonald's turn to try and keep it alive on the corner on the other side. Back to the point, although Atticus Helfer can't handle it. Helfer with a backhand now, get into the Illinois bench. And play stopped right there. And that might be another penalty as well. The hit near the Illinois bench. The signal is an elbow, and it is another penalty on Illinois State. Pavel Bakhtin, who got the start tonight at right wing into the box. Illinois in need of some success on the power play. 0 for 3 tonight, and they've had plenty of opportunities. The Redbirds have given them plenty of opportunities in both games. That's been a weakness for Illinois State since the calendar flipped to 2024. Not counting misconducts and 10-minute penalties, they're averaging 16 a game just on the minors and the occasional major as well. So plenty of work to do for the playoff-bound Redbirds, although they win the faceoff here and march back shorthanded. Slowinski again. The leading threat for Illinois State in shorthanded status, although he's unable to maintain control of it. Now on the near side, Nick Anderson gains it with no trouble. Back over to Bogdanov, couldn't finish the job there. Anderson rolling all the way around from far side to near, and now he'll go back to far with the puck at the point. Fires wide right there, Bogdanov for the backhand chance. Just missed, and it goes off the back of the netting. Clear attempt, back to Helfer at the point. Near side to Matt Veed. Thought about it, waiting patiently now, gets it back to Bogdanov. And Bogdanov will move back towards that middle. Matt Veev playing catch with Helfer. Helfer feeds in, two deflections. Falling down there is Dorian as he tried to gain possession of it. Tripped on a Redbird. And that will force a reset from Illinois. One minute left here in the power play. Eight minutes left in period number two. The Illini still holding on one to nothing off of the first period goal from Verasi. Bogdanov with a pass, unable to handle that. Zizhebetkov, and he has to reset. Has a man right there, feeds it to him. That's Joe Dorian. Some short passing here on the far side for Illinois. Now Bogdanov will look to get back towards the middle, feed it to the near side to Matt Veeve. Matt Veeve thought about it. Good denial right there from Campisi. Back to Matt Veeve, had a lane. Fires now off the leg there of Jackson Graham. Beautiful denial on Alexander Matviev twice now for the Redbirds. 27 seconds left on the minor. Helfer now going in again, still alive in the slot. Two on two battle for it. Volleying for position there is Joe Dorian and he saves the possession back to Zhuzhebetkov. 
and back to Atticus Selfrey. Illinois needs to get something going here. The Redbirds have denied them on plenty of blocks and great positioning. Blocks against Helfer, positioning against Matviv have allowed the Redbirds to kill off this penalty. Five seconds left. Last gasp here for Illinois. Up five to, on four. Barassi fires another block in front there. Jackson Graham and a huge kill there for the Redbirds. They killed it. They kept it a one goal game and they did it with authority as well. Line change for both teams with six minutes and 40 seconds left in the period. Illinois gains that off the carom as McLean fires in the right place at the right time. To deny that was Mike Natoli. Another block as a stick goes twirling in the air. And a penalty coming for that as well. Another penalty. Interference the call this time. And power play number two for Illinois State. Into the box, Anthony Verassi. Rossi in two minutes for interference. Again, the Redbirds were able to come back down two goals last night. Two of their three third period goals on the power play. The Illini scored, they committed a penalty. Penalties have been a little bit of an issue for both teams coming into today. The Illini scored, they gave the Redbirds life and then the Redbirds cashed in. That one goes through two white sweaters, however, and. The Redbirds giving the Illini life instead right there. That will trickle plenty of time off this clock here. Second power play of the day for Illinois State. Great denial right there from Alexander Matviv on Will Trickerico. That will force the Redbirds to reset again. 30 seconds have trickled off the clock here. Six minutes left in the second period. Missouri active with the stick there. Waiting, waiting before he gets it to a sweater and clear. Missouri to Anderson, Anderson for the clear. And now off that carom, Illinois gains the puck. Matt Viva one on two, content to kill time here. He's the only orange sweater in his offensive zone. And again, not a bad thing to kill time right there with the puck on the power play. Still trying to employ a four check right there, or at least slow him down is Aiden Taylor, but getting past him, Pavel Bakhtin. Bakhtin now harassed by Zuzhebetkov, 50-50 puck battle. Bakhtin still controls, gets it back to the half wall. 45 seconds left on the power play here for Illinois State. That's Shaddle who feeds it on the near side to Jackson Graham. Graham with the first goal tonight, last night rather for the Redbirds. Can he do it tonight? That shot goes too high and into the netting. The goals last night for the Redbirds in that aforementioned comeback victory coming from Jacob Bland, a hat trick including the shootout winner alongside Carson Hilt and Jackson Graham. Chesney and Slowinski both with two assists. And Slowinski is on the ice right now alongside Bland and Chesney. And Tony Campisi back on for the power play. Second time he's been on tonight for the Redbirds. Both have been on the power play. Again, if you're Chris Pruitt, you rest him in preparation for the playoffs, but wouldn't hurt to keep him, keep his sea legs alive there in preparation for the playoff. Brendan Donovan watching this. He's the main player getting rested for Illinois State as a huge hit there on a Redbird. And it's again the number two Michael Lenhart in goal for Illinois State as Donovan's being rested. Shot there from Shaddle. That one goes towards the back of the net and play stopped as it appeared it went under the netting right there. So Illinois State had options. They got it closer towards the net from a few shots but still no dice. 10 seconds left on the power play and four and a half left in period number two. And now with 10 seconds left smartly, Chris Pruitt will pull his anchor, Tony Campisi. Land, Slowinski and Chesney, a new top line formation on the ice right now for the Redbirds. Slowinski waiting. Trying to get it in close, still holding on to it, although unable to do anything with it as it was pulled back out right there was Jacob Bland. Back to five on fives, the Illini killed penalty number two. Dumping it in, Matthew McDonald tried to hold on to it. Slowinski beats him to it with the poke. 
at the half wall, now at the point, back to neutral ice. Now trying to navigate that around, Matthew McDonald. Trying to deny him, that one went close to goal there, was Ethan Chesney. Back and forth, Tangle are Dorian and Chesney. Now beautiful play right there to take Trevor Glass off the puck. And play stopped, offside the call. Four minutes left here, still a one nothing game in favor of Illinois. Again, the Redbirds' next action will be in 10 days in St. Louis, the ACHA tournament round one against the Grand Canyon squad that has won nine in a row. And if you don't think that's a challenge enough, the winner of that game plays number one Minot State the next day, the odds on favorite. So Illinois State certainly has their work cut out for them. And this will be the last game of the season for the Illini. They look to end it on a high note. Physical play there from Andrew McLean, but the Puck taken away, Carson Hilt moving now. That's a three on three. Sent to the far side for Matsas, who fires wide. Chase down for it. Unable to keep it in right there was Glass. That will force Illinois State to do an abbreviated reset. But now Illinois has the puck. Illinois undermanned in their own D zone there, but they are still able to get it out. That one goes past Aiden Taylor and on goal. Line change here for Illinois and freezing the puck there. Lenhart with 314 left to go in the period. And two, while these teams talking about next games and ends of seasons, while these teams do play each other every year four times, next year it'll count for some conference battles as the news broke earlier this week that the Illini will join the Midwest Collegiate Hockey League next year alongside teams like McKendry, Northern Illinois, the University of Jamestown, and, and these Redbirds. Again, the news of that broke earlier this week. The Illini were in the CSCHL. For the longest time, plenty of conference championships there in the 40, 50 years that this program has been regularly running. Plenty of conference titles there. That effectively dissolved when Lindenwood moved to the NCAA and Iowa State's program was suspended for a year. And now Illinois has a new conference home starting next year. Redbirds a part of that conference, so next time these two teams meet, it will mean something. That one poked back towards the Illinois net as Zhuzhebetkov converges on it. I mean, if it doesn't already mean a lot in terms of it being a rivalry game, it will count for seeding as well. Zhuzhebetkov to Edmonton! And that one might have gone to the back of the net! That one might have gone through! It hit netting, and it did not hit the post. You did not hear a post, yet it visibly hit netting. Back the other way now, and the shot goes wide from Tim Sloan. Penalty coming here against Illinois, six on five for the Redbirds. What a sequence there. Illinois nearly made it two nothing. The Redbirds nearly made that a two goal swing, one to one. And now they'll have two more minutes to effectively complete what would have been a two goal swing. Power play here for Illinois State. Nathan Dash in the box, the freshman defenseman for the Illini. That one visibly hit netting, you could see it. It looked like it went to the right of the far post and you didn't hear any clanking of metal. That went in, it bounced back effectively. Unreviewable at this level unless the linesman were to conference and give that goal to Illinois. But what a sequence right there. And now Illinois State with a chance to turn the tables completely in what would effectively be a two goal swing, a minute 50 left to do so on this power play. Mike Slowinski navigating that through traffic, forced away by Nick Anderson. Back to the point as Slowinski gets hammered there. Chesney trying to nab that through traffic. Great play by Nick Anderson to deny that chance. Nick Anderson has been all over this power play thus far in its first 20 seconds. Shot in the middle right there from Jacob Bland and I. Now Chesney gets it back on the near side, moving to his right, fires too much traffic when he fired it, was surrounded by two orange sweaters and into the netting that goes. A minute 30 left. In, in the second period, rather. A minute 17 left on the power play. So whatever you see on the scoreboard, knock off 14 seconds for the time that Illinois State will be on the man advantage. Again, Chesney, Land, Slowinski, Shadow, 
And instead of Tony Campisi, it is Jackson Graham taking that spot in the 4-1 overload. Campisi has again seen ice time twice tonight. He was rested last night alongside starting netminder for the Redbirds, Brendan Donovan. And he has been in twice tonight, both on Illinois State's two previous power plays. It appeared that the clock did run a few more seconds. So that is the source for the adjustment here. And so a few more seconds will trickle back onto this clock here at the end, the tail end of the second period. Nathan Dash still in the box for Illinois. Fresh off that face-off win, it trickles back to the far side point. Graham right there alongside Shaddle. Shaddle going in, save made by Missouri. Pulled back out to the near side half wall, controlled by Illinois State. Chesney playing catch with Slowinski. Slowinski trying to gain a better angle, gets it back. Shaddle unable to handle it. That will force a brief reset. Shaddle playing catch right there with Graham. Shaddle thought about it. Chesney thought about it. Good defense here from Illinois to deny some sets here. Trying to get in right there. Off that centering pass there was Chesney. Nothing doing there. 45 seconds left on the power play. A minute left in the period. Chase down now off that shot from Shaddle. Colliding into the boards. Graham and Helfer before it's cleared by Illinois. Great defense by the Illini on that series. Really denying all sorts of lanes that the Redbirds had. And again, making them slow down. High stick called there on Slowinski. Impressive play, but still illegal. Knocking that out of thin air with the stick. 40 seconds left in the period. 27 seconds left on the minor. So now a face-off win for Illinois would effectively kill off the rest of this power play. The face-offs have been much more even tonight with the Illini controlling a large majority of them in the first period. Alexander Matviev against Casey Cole Antonio. Faceoff was pulled out by Matt and picked off very quickly by Carson Hilt, and it will go back into the Illinois zone. Alpi the first man there, and he clears it again. 30 seconds left in the period. 15 seconds left now on the power play for Illinois State. Going around a man right there is Cole Antonio. Still has it, back to the point, trying to keep it in Gonzalez before it's poked out. Fresh out of the box comes McDonald. Two on two here for Illinois. Tried to feed it back to Verasi. And that opportunity was blown. Three seconds left in the period. That will finish it. Scoreless second period here. A few power plays killed off respectively on both sides in a much more even second period. Teams working very quickly in the neutral zone. Face-offs much more even as well. The Illini still up one to nothing off the goal from Anthony Barassi in the first period. Redbirds will look for another comeback win and the Illini will look for their first win against their rivals. Their first win in 364 days against their rivals. More on that coming up to start the third period. We'll be back for the third shortly between Illinois and Illinois State.
Welcome back. 364, the number we ended the second period talking about, and now the explanation. 364 days since the Illini last defeated the Illinois State Redbirds. It was senior night last year against the Illinois State's Division II team in which the Illini were able to pull it out. It was a 3-1 lead the Redbirds had in the third period. It was the Redbirds Division II program once again, led by assistant coach for Division I, Michael Hernbrot. A 3-1 lead the Redbirds entered the third period with. The Illini scored three goals, including one with seven tenths left on the clock. Again, 364 days ago, February 25th, 2023, that game-winning goal with less than a second remaining in regulation, scored by number 23 at the time, Will Sammons, who he had donned that number in all four of his years with the program, donning the jersey number 23. And tonight, the only goal that has been scored thus far by the man to don the number 23 after him for the orange and blue, the freshman, Anthony Verasi. And Verasi's goal has been the difference in this game, coming about five minutes in to period number one. The second period was filled with penalty kills and was much more even in terms of face-offs and physicality as well and some neutral zone control. The Redbirds control to start and feed it all the way around, sent all the way around. Now Atticus Helfer has to take that, cutting it off to him and trying to keep it alive. The Redbirds are. Helfer back with it before he plays it off the boards and clears. Bailey McCarthy there for Illinois. Straddling the blue line. Now Jackson Graham sends it back in. Graham fighting for it right there, picked off by Illinois. And a line change. And now Illinois State will control back in their own D zone. Near side, Slowinski harassed by Anderson, looking to get it back to the point. Slowinski still controls, feeds it in there. That one deflected, still alive right in front. That one went off the helmet of Aslan Zhuzhebetkov and nearly trickled past Ben Mazurik. It landed in the blue paint. Now Matt Veev running around now in the offensive zone. Backhand feed, too many white sweaters in the way to deny that. Illinois still able to pick it off. Matt Veev in front, Verasi, save made. Caroms back towards behind the net and the trap is void. One orange sweater falls down, play stopped in front. We've seen Verasi and Matt Veev combine on so many chances this season and they nearly got one more right there. off now to the left of Michael Lenhart, one by Illinois, but the Redbirds trickle it away now. Two on two, working the other way. Trying to pick that off, there is Les Guy. That one caroms close, but no cigar. Back to the point. Redbirds playing catch intermediate. That one deflected towards the far side circle. Trying to move that around, there is Slowinski. His stick is lost from him, and that draws a penalty on Illinois. Redbirds will go back on the attack a minute and 30 seconds into this period. Both teams have combined 0 for 6 on power plays thus far. Faceoffs have largely defined them in terms of who can put pressure on whom. Face off one by the Redbirds here, playing catch. Now Trickerico fires, save made by Missouri. Caroms back towards Trickerico at the blue line and he'll reset. Playing catch right there with Justin Gonzalez, has it back now. Right in front there, that one goes off the back of the netting, off the stick of Carson Hilt. Two on two puck battle now, Zhuzhikov gets it out but still harassed from either side and that gives the Redbirds the puck. Now moving in, shot still alive in front, although unable to get stick the puck there was Pavel Bakhtin. Jacob Bland with the initial shot right there and did a good job taking it out of traffic and back towards the high slot. Redbirds control again, they're winning the boards here and the trapezoid on this power play and they've been able to keep possessions alive. There, Missouri will freeze it. 45 seconds having trickled off the clock 
on this early power play here in the third period. Now set to take the face off to the left of Missouri, Matt Vive and Jacob Bland. Again, a new front line combination for the Redbirds of Bland, Chesney, and Slowinski. Both converge to try and win that face off back for the Redbirds, and they do. Fanning on that attempt right there was Shaddle. Able to keep it alive, however. Pesky play here, and sending a man down, bodying up there was Nick Anderson. That becomes a puck battle, and Anderson is on top of it, so that will stop that. One minute left on the power play. Two and a half minutes into this third period. Face off one by Illinois and it passes prologue. No, it is not as Slowinski controls. Now Matt Vive clears. Fastest prologue. The Illini should control this next series. Face offs have largely defined the efficacy of these power plays. Near takeaway there from Illinois in their own D zone, but denied. Now moving the other way, Jackson Graham. Zone gained. That one comes in front and a score! Jacob Bland pokes it in! And that's a mistake the senior Ben Mazurik will want to forget. He went back to grab it, cammed back towards the net. He didn't know where it was. And Jacob Bland with perfect intuition to cap off his fourth goal of this weekend. And the first power play goal of the evening today. Penalty mistakes continuing to haunt Illinois as McCarthy fires one right there. Now trying to move through traffic all who he's harassed by two men and the puck taken away by Nick Anderson. Back the other way it goes. And that will stop that. Well, now Kowalczyk winning the face off now. You're starting to see more variety in that department there from the Redbirds as that shot goes wide up the stick of Natoli. Still being fought for now. Nick Anderson shoves a man into the boards. He's fighting for it alongside Tim Sloan. A few more cross checks there now as a few players trickle down and that will breed another penalty. Back and forth. Some more activity in front there. That was between Alex Kowalczyk and Nick Anderson. Anderson and Dorian have been in the middle of everything physical tonight for Illinois. Plenty of after the whistle activity and it might lead to multiple entrances into the box. A few linesmen continuing to hold back Illinois State as now entering the box is Tim Sloan. Sloan and Kowalczyk in the middle of that. And back to the power play at least temporarily before the linesmen make any further delineations goes Illinois. They are chatting things over now with Tony Campisi. And Bogdanoff comes to join the fray. Again, an early third period goal off of a clearing the puck mistake from Ben Missouri. And right there to pop it through an empty net was Jacob Bland. Just a few minutes ago, and that's how Illinois State has been able to tie the game up. It was on a sequence two and a power play, which Illinois had mostly controlled up to that point. They had won the faceoff. They had controlled the possession. Now they send it back for a clear. Missouri got it with the stick and nothing much that could occur there. They got a chance to redeem themselves now on the power play. 0 for 4 thus far and in need of a power play goal 
for more reasons than one. Faceoff still being fought for, pulled out to Slowinski. He looks to clear, get some help there from Jackson Graham. Fought for in neutral ice, still going after it as a few players cancel each other out, but it's taken now by Anderson. Anderson poking with it alongside Jackson Graham. Now Atticus Helfer will send a long pass across to Matt Veeve. Anderson moving quickly as a white sweater falls down. Anderson looking for a centering feed. Will roll all the way around now to Matt Veeve. Matt Veeve boxes the man out. Illinois with it at the half wall. Back to Helfer now in the middle, swinging it all the way to the near side. Anderson fires, still alive in front, looking for a rebound in the trapezoid. And back at the half wall, Illinois able to keep that alive. Anderson fires wide, chased down to keep it in from Matt Veeve. He cannot. Now Helfer trying to navigate through traffic. Again on goal, he scores! No, he did not! Another one that nearly went through for Illinois, but you could hear the clank of the metal right there. Justin Gonzalez now will send it back to Matt Veeve. Matt Veeve trying to pick it off in his own ozone. Hold everything. That one hit netting, but it also hit metal. Now Zizabetkov dash over to the far side. Try to find a feed in there for Joe Dorian, nothing doing. A minute left now on the minor penalty to Tim Sloan. Sent to the far side now. And back to Nathan Dash. He moves in and fires off the pad, turned aside by Lenhart. Now two men go after it. It's cleared by Illinois State, although two worn sweaters opposing, and Missouri will deny that. Again, if you're Illinois, how quickly can your netminder wipe away that bad memory that he just gave up a goal. A few more caroms in neutral ice. Now a pass across to Zuzabetkov. He gains the zone, goes around a man, but gets taken down in the process. No call yet. And play stops. 30 seconds left on the power play. Five minutes having gone by here in the third period. Zuzabetkov was taken down from behind by Drew Shadow. And it appears it will remain a four on four. Yo. Well, now Illinois talking things over at their own bench while the linesman will conference with Chris Pruitt. And an interesting sequence here. There was 28 seconds left, but Illinois State skates out five. 28 seconds left on that power play yet. And now, not only will Illinois State continue to have five, but it will go back to neutral ice. I don't think we have ever seen that before. The last 30 seconds, roughly, of a power play wiped off. And the faceoff moved into neutral ice. Life here for Illinois State. And once we have a reason why that call was made, we will let you know. Andrew McLean trying to chase that down, picked off by Jackson Graham and the Redbirds control in their own O zone. Looking to feed it back now to Liam Gritzik before he fires and denied by Missouri. Andrew McLean now off the feed from Aiden Taylor. McLean plays the ricochet game. Taylor trying to cut off Ethan Chesney in the trapezoid. Getting some help there from Aslan Zuzhebetkov to try and keep the possession alive. Taylor has to run after it again. He's harassed in front by Liam Gritzik. Those two still going after it. Another chase down for it, this time on the near side. Atticus Helfer in the middle of it for Illinois. And he will get some help from Matthew McDonald running back to grab it. McDonald and Zuzhebetkov now. Zuzhebetkov goes around a man, getting fancy with it. Gains the zone, goes around another. But an odd angle will poke it around with the backhand over to Atticus Helfer. Barassi now trying to do the same, gets shoved into the boards by Shaddle, still has it, now back at the half wall. We'll send it right back to where he started, and that gives Illinois State brief control of the puck and enough for a clear. Now running around with that is Slowinski, holding onto it that now, Colantonio. 
Well, Antonio not trying to navigate that through a bunch of orange sweaters. Right in front, save made off the shot from Slowinski. Beautiful two-man game there from Cole Antonio and Slowinski. Best chance they've had for a goal since they scored off the error from the Illinois defense. Now Matthew McDonald rushing on the near side. Feeds it back to Verasi at the half wall. Verasi and McDonald playing catch, although they're undermanned by four white sweaters in the area. 50-50 puck battle, now a one on two. That trickles closer to the net. Tricorico had trouble handling it, and that will send it back to the corner. Matt Vive right there for Illinois. Still running after it alongside Michael Natoli. Now a two on two puck battle that will kill more time. Seven and a half having gone by here in this third period, and Illinois State has tied the game. Dorian. And taken away now off that feed, moving in. Maxis still alive on the second attempt. First one was blocked by Anderson, second one was blocked by Missouri. Maxis still holding onto it. Two on one battle right there, won by the two of Illinois. David Ettingen now trying for a clear, unable to do so. Picked off in front on the far side, backhand, still alive there in the trapezoid now, and Illinois controls. Trevor Glass with a beautiful play, first taking it away in the corner and then navigating through traffic for a one on zero backhand. Now Illinois State marching the other way, starting to work very quickly and defeat the Illini on the four check here. Falling down is Zuzhebetkov, trying to keep that alive. He collides with Sloan. And now line changes, much awaited for both teams. A very fast shift. Illinois has been on their heels as the Redbirds have employed a four check and have been very physical and have had plenty of chances in front. Another one right there. Another hit right there. Physical, fast, and the Redbirds are starting to have their way with close chances in on Ben Mazurik. Zuzhebetkov gets hit, moving back now with the puck is Atticus Helfer. A clear, unable to find it there, Aiden Taylor, and Illinois called back for a line change. Cut off by Anderson. McLean now over to Drake Niles Cox. Great positioning right there by Illinois State. Niles Cox tried to find a man to his right. There were two white sweaters denying him on that side. They were playing him against the net, making him go through them, and that shut off the possession there from Illinois State. Now Luke Alpe looks to reset, feeds it over to Matt Vee. He has to corral it around the boards before he gets knocked right in front of the Illinois State bench. The Redbirds will look to control now. Garcia had a lane trying to go through Alpe, but the latter will deny him from doing so. Getting some help there from McDonald, back to neutral ice. Illinois State looking to make quick work in the neutral zone again. Dumped into nobody there off the sick of Jacob Bland. And the Illini will control, but again, the Redbirds starting to enforce more of a four check here. Zuzhebetkov smartly passes it away and makes them pay for it. McDonald now trying to finish that, but he cannot as he went down. Picked away now, McDonald with a huge hit in on Mike Natoli, the man who pickpocketed the puck away from him 10 seconds earlier. Joe Dorian fighting for it now alongside Jackson Graham, batted down by Matt Vive. He feeds it in. That one will trickle on goal and stopping the clock with nine and a half left in regulation is Michael Lenhart. First period, the advantage was clearly Illinois. Second period, pretty even. Third period, it has slowly trickled to Illinois State. Whether or not, due to the Illini giving them some help, on that goal on the power play about five minutes ago. The Redbirds have cashed in on the problems that hurt their cause in the first period, namely the face-offs and making quick work in the neutral zone. They've won the face-offs, they made quick work in the neutral zone and they've started to enforce a four check here on Illinois and they've gotten plenty of close chances in turn in on Ben Missouri. Although Illinois will have a chance to change all of that. Missouri heading to the bench. They will go back on the power play here. Delayed penalty coming. Helfer able to keep it alive and will reset. Illinois content to take some time here. Now six on five. Delayed penalty coming in favor of the Illini. Dorian harassed a two on one. Gets it away and that will stop the whistle. Power play coming up for Illinois. And the Illini have a chance to kill two birds with one stone. 0 for 5 on the power play this entire game. They had success in it last night. 
they haven't been able to cash in tonight. And two, they have a chance to take back that one goal lead and avenge the mistake of Ben Mazurik over five minutes ago that led to the previous goal for Illinois State, the tie. Matt Veeve navigating through traffic, rebound chance, he scores! One man wrecking crew, mistake avenged. Matt Veeve moved through traffic. Joe Dorian finished the job. Matt Veeve took it right off the faceoff, navigated through two men, fired one off the pad, and Joe Dorian. How many times have we seen those two players for Illinois over the last 10 games, Matt Veeve and Dorian, cause chaos right in front of the net? Screams, rebounds, plenty of activity in on opposing goaltenders. And the phenomenon we have seen strike for Illinois multiple times, so many times over these last 12 games, strikes again to give them back the one goal lead. Dorian from Matvey, two to one here in the third period. Redbirds looking to go back on the attack, a three on three, poked away there by Nick Anderson off the stick of Carson Hill. Anderson clears, still holding onto it, Hill harassing him from behind. Now Matvey trying to chase that down. He's sent into the boards by Liam Gritzik. Illinois undermanned here, although still putting up a fight on the 50-50 puck battle that is eventually won by the Redbirds and cleared. Now trying to get it in, and he does through Atticus Helfer is Shaddle. Two on one here, Shaddle going in, still in front, and finished by Missouri. <laughs> Illinois State had a three on one right there, and the lone Illini defender was playing to deny that third player on the near side. He was trying to play to deny what would effectively have been a cross net pass. Very smart there. That allowed Ben Missouri to cater to one side of the net, knowing that the other side was covered by his defenseman. And there, some passes back and forth. Drew Shadow right there facilitating that. And the carom ends back up in the paint. And no lack of knowledge of where that ended up for Illinois. Missouri stopped it. He stops another one right there off an Illinois State breakaway. The Redbirds still with plenty of odd man rushes here and chances that have defined, close chances that have defined their third period thus far. But again, they're running out of time. Seven minutes, 40 seconds left, and they have to find a goal in that time. They did it last night. They found two in less than that time. So familiar territory here if you're Illinois State and not a tough hurdle to climb. Off an abbreviated line change for Illinois. Icing waved off. Dorian collects. Anderson speeds across. That one too hot to handle for Bogdanoff, but he collects off of a misplay from a Redbird. Bogdanoff fires and deflected in front from Justin Gonzalez. Hit on the boards on Andrew McLean, applied by Tim Sloan. That gives Illinois State the puck in their own trapezoid. Seven minutes left in regulation, and the Redbirds have that time to find a goal. Picked off now in neutral ice. Gonzalez passed it. Anderson intercepted it. And that will go back into the Illinois State zone. Another abbreviated line change for Illinois as David Ettingen and Bailey McCarthy apply a forecheck. Matt V, fresh off the bench, keeps it in. David Ettingen will try to do the same up against Justin Gonzalez. Matt V there. Helfer finishes it. Keeps it in for the time being for Illinois. Illinois with a successful turnover right there, although they'll have to reset this time with the puck in their own defensive zone. Jackson Graham applying a forecheck as well. Helfer has to navigate that a one on two. He can't, it gives the puck to the Redbirds. Shot, score! Off Mazurk and trickling in, Jacob Bland with goal number five of the weekend. The Redbird forecheck, a relatively new factor in this third period, has now made the difference. Atticus Helfer was undermanned. It was a one on two there. Jackson Graham started it. Great recognition by Ethan Chesney to surround Helfer. 
and to create that one on two. Chesney and Graham grab it. And then finishing it right there is Jacob Bland. Beautiful feed across the ice too from Chesney over to Bland. Again, goal number two for Bland in this game. Goal number five for the freshman top line left winger on the weekend. He had a hat trick last night, including the shootout winner. Now he has two tonight. This is a highlight reel of a weekend for Bland as Illinois State looks to apply the pressure in the Illini doghouse. Able to keep it alive. Cut off, still alive in front, and a score! Two goals in 60 seconds. Liam Gritzik this time applying the pressure on the rebound. What a factor this forecheck has become for Illinois State. Illinois had won the battle at the trapezoid roughly for the first four and a half minutes, uh, four and a half periods rather that is, of this entire series. Entirely last night and then for the first half of this game tonight, they had won the battle of the trapezoid but Illinois State with a huge adjustment there applying a forecheck. First it was Graham and now they're just sending three or four Men back there taking pucks away. They took it away and then off the rebound, they cashed it in. Still alive in front, trying to shove it in there on Missouri and he will deny that from happening. What a factor this behind net presence has been in this game for Illinois State in the last two or three minutes. They have now taken the lead up three to two off the goal from Liam Gritzik. So now shoes on the other foot. And 364 days ago, the Illini found themselves against the Redbirds in this exact same situation. The Redbirds found themselves in it against the Illini last night. And so now the Illini are in urgency mode with four minutes and 40 seconds left in period number three. That one goes through Anthony Verassi, trickling back on goal, turned aside by the stick of Lenhart. Illinois State still controlling. Pass from Perry to Natoli in neutral ice, although a one on four still goes around a man, but the shot goes wide. Anderson controlling now for Illinois. Four and a half left in regulation. The Illini are down by one. They need to find a goal in that time. Anderson tried to feed it to a man. Good denial there with the stick of Perry. That one goes back in. An orange sweater has it in the trapezoid and sends it back out to the point. Alpi swings it back to Anderson. Anderson thought about moving right, forced to the corner, but giving it up now over to Alpi. He'll have to reset as well. To the half wall on the far side. Pulling that out now, trying to his Matt Veeb. He fires, still alive in the low slot, but it's taken by Illinois State. Matt Veeb now picks it off and sends a shot wide. Keeping it in there quite nicely. Zuzabetkov feeds it over to Verassi, has a lane. Save made now. Matt Veeb has to gather it in the near side corner. A few men jockeying for positioning in the high slot. As that one remains a 50-50 puck battle on the near side half wall. Three on three this puck battle is. And now the men move out, pulled out. Verassi still alive, firing. Save made there. A race for it. Three on one here but Illinois winning the battle of the point right there and able to keep it in. Pass sent across, held for to Zuzhebetkov looking for a deflection, it went wide. Now another chase down for it. Illinois able to control for the time being. Bailey McCarthy trying to turn that around, goes through a few men. McCarthy pokes that right to a white sweater and clear. Three minutes left in regulation. Line change for the Redbirds here. The Illini now look to get active. Helfer going around, finishing it. David Ettingen still holding on to it in front. Helfer went around a few men, couldn't go around a third. Bogdanov picked it up where he left off, but still stopping it, Michael Lenhart. Two and a half left in regulation. Illinois has done a good job keeping it in for the most part in the last three, four minutes, but now the Redbirds control off a of carom. Two on four, and a poke check will deny that. Now a two on two. 
That becomes a two on three. David Ettingen goes around a man, still in front, tried to feed it to Dorian, too much traffic, and Ettingen gets hammered in the boards. Another huge hit right there as a man goes down. That's Drew Shaddle. David Ettingen and Drew Shaddle going at it, back and forth. And the retaliatory hit on Shaddle will put Ettingen in the box. Not what you want from Illinois with two minutes and 17 seconds left. You're starting to get into pull your goalie territory and now five on five becomes five on four and not in your favor. John Opilka and company will talk things over. 2.17 on the clock and two goals in roughly 60 seconds just a few minutes ago have been the difference for Illinois State. It was much how the series between the Illini and the Redbirds went in Bloomington a few months ago, early in November. Illinois was able to keep pace with the hotter Redbirds before Illinois State was able to pull away in the third period. Now, Illinois has had leads and Illinois State has been able to not only cut into them, but go past the Illini in these third periods. That's how it's been these last two games and the Redbirds are two minutes and 17 seconds away from icing that narrative into the books. Again, the goals in this game coming in the first period from Anthony Verasi, scoreless in the second, and then all three Redbird goals coming in the third period. Jacob Bland with two of them, and then Liam Gritzik with the decider thus far. And what a weekend for Jacob Bland, part of this real impressive freshman class for the Redbirds. Bland, Chesney, Natoli, you can throw Parker Turch on that list as well. And those men have really allowed this team to get a lot more depth. You, you don't hear it a lot that your top line, two of the three forwards on your top line consist of freshmen. Two of your three members of that top line are freshmen. You don't hear that a lot in college hockey, but it's just a testament to how powerful these youngsters are for Illinois State. And that too has really allowed them to build up some serious line depth. Three top tier quality lines. The, the Redbirds third line could really be another team's second line or maybe even a top line. You have players like Carson Hilt on there who was a huge factor last night and has really allowed this team to develop a lot of depth and again in large part due to the freshmen they have brought in. Jacob Bland with two of the Redbirds three goals in this third period. Again all three of the overall goals coming in the third period for Illinois State and has had five goals this weekend. Certainly a weekend to remember for the Illinois native. The clock has been moved to two minutes and 16 seconds. The Redbirds will skate out five and David Ettingen is in the box. So decisions here now for John O'Pilka. Do you pull your netminder and turn it into what would be a five on five? You pull your netminder, but it's still five on five. So how do you navigate through that? What personnel decisions do you make? You put in guys who can get around one-on-ones, very streaky players, Bogdanoff, Verasi, Matviv. What sort of those personnel decisions do you make if you decide to pull your netminder? For now, the Redbirds control. It's a five-on-four, a power play. And we have hit the two-minute mark remaining in regulation. That one sent around in front, deflected, and cleared by Illinois. And Alexander Matviv has to chase that one down. Again, desperation time for the Illini, killing more time here on this power play before throwing it to the near side is Michael Lenhart. A minute 45 seconds left as Matt Veeven forcing a four check. Not surprised to see that either for Illinois. Anything you can do to create one-on-one -on -one situations as you're undermanned right now with a minute 37 left to go in the game. Illinois State content to kill out the rest of this power play. They are content to go as slow as they possibly can in denying Illinois the ability to get anything set here. Shot goes wide, back into the trapezoid, poked away now. Luke Alpi trying to finish that clear, but beating him to it is the aforementioned Jacob Bland. 
Jackson Graham now feeds it. Chesney fans on that. He has to circle around Bogdan off before he fires again. Still alive in front, looking for a rebound chance and bottled up by Missouri. Alec Bogdanov and Aslan Zhuzhebetkov were in front of the net trying to protect against rebounds and they had to contend with Bland and Mike Slowinski. A minute and nine seconds left on the clock. And 52 seconds left on the David Eckingen penalty. Face off between Cole Antonio and Taylor, won by the former and controlled by Illinois State. Again, if you're the Redbirds, you're content to kill as much time as you can. Moving in for a shot, still alive! That one went wide, trying to hold onto it on the other side now, and Missouri stops that! He had a wide open chance, that was Will Trickerico, but he sent it just wide. It went off the back netting before he was able to somehow, almost miraculously, feed it to the other side of the net, and the man in front there was unable with some hand-eye and some close control of the stick to finish the job. 37 seconds left on the power play, 54 seconds left in the game. Again, the Illini are undermanned, five on four, and they're down one goal. Faceoff pulls out to Trickerico. Again, kill time here if, the Red, if you're the Redbirds. Or do that! and end this game with 42 seconds to go. Casey Cole Antonio with the icing on the cake and the dagger for the playoff bound Illinois State Redbirds. You come into this power play thinking too, we talked about the personnel decisions John Opelka was going to make and if the Illini were gonna pull their goaltender, And conversely for the Redbirds, you also think of how aggressive do you want to be? And they wasted no time. You know, there's always that fear when you fire off a shot, especially against a team in Illinois who was known to be one of the best blocking teams that you've seen in quite some time. This team, this Illini team loves to use the full body blocks now. And they love to turn to that as we're inside of 30 seconds. So anytime you're going up against a team for whom that is their strength, then for whom they have denied a lot of power plays in this series using that method. That's always a fear. You get a block, you get a carom that goes Illinois' way as the Redbirds still looking to go back in on the attack. But Joe Dorian sends a man down and with 10 seconds left, he'll spend the rest of this game behind glass. A little slow right there as Dorian applied a high hit and struggling to get to his feet is Michael Garcia. He's still a little bit down. And so John O'Pilka will talk things over. Joe Dorian projected to head to the box with 10 seconds left. But you always fear on using that philosophy for a team that loves to block a lot on power plays because you don't know. They could get a block, a carom could go your way, and then you could have a one-on-one -on -one chance, a one-on-zero chance, which is perfect prime opportunity for Illinois and for some of those players we were talking about, Bogdanov, Matt V, Varasi, to attack and tie the game up. So, that aggressive mindset can tend to breed shorthanded situations and that's not what you want if you're Illinois State, but gutsy move there just to keep applying the pressure when you're in a position when you are able to kill off the rest of this game and Casey Cole Antonio with an exclamation point to finish the job and make it four to two. And again, credit to Illinois State in these third periods. Four goals, all four of them tonight came in the third period, and all four of them, four out of the five rather, came in the third period last night. Eight goals between these two third periods in these last two games have been the difference. And again, the Redbirds were able to pull away in Bloomington. They're now able to pull away in Champaign, and they are giving the Illinois student section a little bit of love right here on the far side. And short-handed, rested Illinois State Redbird team comes into Champaign and takes two on the road against the Illini in their final weekend of play of this 2023-24 season. It was a physical series, it was a chippy series, and it was a series who the Redbirds third period antics and speed were able to make the difference. Again, eight goals 
four in the third period last night, and all four coming in the third period tonight. Incredible, and certainly something that will help carry them as they battle Grand Canyon and look towards the ACHA playoffs coming in St. Louis in 10 days. For Illinois on the other side, the march, you could say the consistency continues, although they did a better job of controlling what they could tonight. They did a better job in what they could control of executing tonight. The putt play was cleaner. The speed was there, the physicality was there. Really the only exception on their end, which was a, a massive mistake, was an inadvertent mishandle by Ben Mazurik that allowed the Redbirds to get their first goal. That was, that was a huge one, but other than that, that was it. And so the Illini have found consistency this season. The task this weekend was how can you apply it against a better team? And that task will continue going into 2024 and 2025 as first year head coach John O'Pilka, uh, a veteran team with a lot of juniors. And again, those seniors leading the way, Missouri and Bogdanoff in particular. And so, so many members of this team will be back for the next season, including projected, at least right now, Alexander Matveev. And that's gonna be huge for Illinois, particularly in the face-off circle. And Nolan Woodring as well in goal, who is over the last two years, split time with Missouri and had the chance to be taken under Missouri's wing. So with that, we've ran out the tape on the 2023-24 campaign. And a season where the Illini finished under 500 at 12-15-2 has felt like anything but a sub-500 finish. Coming off that past year, still reeking from that Division I decision and a time of low morale and players transferring out. John Opilka is hired as the new head coach and this cautious optimism surrounds that move. And then the season starts, and it starts with a sigh of relief almost, almost a return to normalcy for the Illini. They come out of the gate physical and full of chemistry. The defense set the tone with a lot of physical play. Intent, you saw that tonight a bunch. The veterans were able to really mesh with the young guys. It looked like on defense, one veteran was paired with one young player to start the season. And again, it didn't really seem to have a negative impact on Illinois. So the freshmen meshing with the veterans in back and up front, and then the offense followed the tone set by the defense. That was the first two weeks of the season for the Illini. They went three and one in that span. But after that, the speedier teams catch up and the speed seemed to be a problem handling the faster teams for the Illini. Winning ways became some losing streaks, some lineup shuffling and putting scotch tape on a young team's morale and a young coach's morale as well. And multiple times did this season, did the team turn to Nolan Woodring, again, who will be projected to be the number one goalie. And the team seemed to tangibly rally around him with some gutty Saturday performances and close edged out wins to stop some of those skids in the fall. And so did that begin the quest that defined much of the latter half of this program season. Consistency, overcoming the hurdle of days, taking game two's clean play and applying it to game one. This team in terms of quality of play almost looked like a different team from Friday to Saturday. Friday games again look slow and sloppy at times with the puck handling a bit of a struggle and no room for the speed and consequently physicality. And the Saturday games on the other hand look pure like the team had been how they were in the early season. How could you come out of the gate quicker, cleaner and shave the time that it takes to garner that clean play? A long march to consistency that was solved finally last weekend against Alabama. They had finally reached the top of the ladder but with one climb reached, another one begins, and now you have to start to apply that against the better teams. And so to quote a rather famous name that appeared on your parents' television screens, that's the way it was February 24th, 2024. And for this entire season for the Illinois Fighting Illini, which marked the beginning of their program's return to ACHA relevance, prominence, and eventually a return to glory. For all of us in the broadcasting crew and for all of us at Illini Hockey, the students, staff, sponsors, and supporters, we thank you for tuning in and watching this team and these young men grow. The quest continues in September 
This is George Corey saying so long until next time. Lights out. <laughs>